got BIMCOM plugged into a BMW 4 Series 2016 model. So if we go in first of all and we do the auto scan, we choose the BMW, uh, the 4 Series, and then we pick the model that we've got. Uh, it's this one. And then click on go. So it's now scanning all through the car for all the different ECUs that it can find. This can take some time as it's got a fair list of ECUs to search through. But it's gradually working its way through. It's found nine so far. Okay, up to 11, 12. Almost done. Great, so now we've got a list of all the ECUs that it found and it's showing us the fault codes in each ECU. So we can scroll down the list to the bottom and back up to the top again. So we can go into some of these individual ECUs and have a look at the, the faults that are stored in them. So if we go in, we'll go into the ABS module And we'll have a look at the fault codes in here. So, okay, so we've got a few fault codes. We do actually have a TPMS fault on this vehicle, which we've been working on. And you can see there's no reception from one of the, the wheel electronics and it won't let us calibrate the TPMS system. So we've reset the fault codes. We can just see if any of those come back. So you can see here, because we actually diagnosed and moved around some of the tires we found one of the TPMS sensors on the tires wasn't transmitting. So we've got that replaced and the car now seems happy with that TPMS sensor. So let's carry on down the list and look at the faults we've got in the other systems. So if we go in the CS, read the fault code in here. So short to earth on the wash pump. So drop back, go back to the list, see what else we've got. convertible top. I think there is an issue with the convertible top on this one. Let's just check. Yeah, so I think that's the, the problem we've had with the convertible top on here. And go into the engine. So we've got a couple of fault codes in there. We can clear these I think because we've been doing some work on this car. So we'll just reset those. Hopefully they shouldn't come back. Just reread the fault codes. Yeah, they've gone. And then we'll carry on down the list. A couple of Ethernet faults there. So let's carry on down the list. And what have we got? Oh, it, the air conditioning. Now here's one of the nice things with BIMCOM. It's recognized this ECU from a different BMW model, not the one we're on, but it's saying we can still connect. So if we just say yes and go into that module, we're still able to read fault codes and look at some live data on this particular controller. So let's go back to the list and see what else we've got. So we've got one fault code in here. Okay, so let's drop back. Carry on down the list. On the last system, the gateway, there's one fault code in there. It's just telling us about fault codes and other controllers. So we head back up to the top of the list and let's go into the ABS system. There are some other options that we can use within BIMCOM. For example, there's, there's configuration. If you wanted to set the software into development mode, you can have a look at some configuration functions. But there's also some ECU programming and coding options, which gives you things like your conditional based service resets and a range of other functions.
And again, if we go down and I think if we have a look in the instrument cluster, I'll just show you some of the additional functions that are available in the instrument cluster. So we've got a couple of coding options there, some more service coding options. And again, configuration if we put the software into development mode. So if you've got any questions on BIMCOM or any other diagnostic products that we offer, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.